Hey guys, this is CG Animator, and today I'm going to show you how to import custom brushes and matte caps into ZBrush. Uh, and it's really not hard, it's just something that you know you should know when you want to import your own brushes and or matte caps or someone else's that you downloaded. So um, the materials that I have, the custom um, matte caps here, I downloaded them all from Pixelogic, so you can get those there. And the brushes, I'll give you guys a link in the sidebar where you can download uh, the, one of the sets of brushes that I have and um, one of those brushes is the one that I'm going to be importing today so let me put in a uh, sphere 3d so here you can see we have a brush so what I want to do is I want to import um, a brush right here it's going to be called um, wrinkle a wrinkle brush and uh, we're going to insert another material here so uh, in order to import stuff uh, into bl into ZBrush, sorry, you have to exit ZBrush, otherwise it won't work, so minimize this here. So here's Wrinkle and this um, material I have here, Material Shiny, uh, Dirty. So um, the brushes sh should be ZBP files and these should be ZMT files, so in order to import them, the easiest way is to go into com my computer. Let's go into uh, Program Files and look for your Pixelogic folder here. Go into ZBrush 3. Now you want to go into Z Startup. Now for the brush here, you want to go into Brush um, Presets, and then you want to just drag and drop that in there. And they usually come in um, zip files, so make sure you unzip it onto your desktop or into a temporary folder, and then um, you know import it like you should. And then we'll go back here, and then right underneath brush pre uh, presets, a couple down is uh, materials. So I'm just going to import that here. Okay. Okay, now that we have that, just close it, and then start up ZBrush, and uh, we should have those things perfectly installed. I'm going to install the, just put in the demo head so we can make sure. Oops. So here we have our material here that we just imported. And uh, this is what it looks like here. And then here's our wrinkle brush that we imported too. And uh, yeah, so now we can uh, use that if we want to. But um, you see it has um, different effects than usual. I actually use the wrinkle brush quite a bit right now because um, it's great for getting in wrinkles. But that's a totally different tutorial. So that's all for this tutorial. And I uh, just wanted to show you guys how to do that really quick. And um, you know, you can just start importing your own materials and brushes and there is a limit to how many you can have though so just be mindful of that okay guys thanks for watching this tutorial and be sure to watch future tutorials alright guys thanks